Hey everybody, this is Kelly and we have recently received some questions on how to use the four piece hive stencil set from Honey Bee Stamps and so I am going to do a super quick tutorial. I'm going to start out with this base piece. This will give you the look of your hive. So I'm just going to very quickly add some color and this would obviously be a lot easier if you were going to take the time and um, tape these down. But for time's sake, I'm just going to do this super quick, pounce the color on to give you a look. So I'm going to pick that up and then I have the base of my hive. Next, I'm going to use the mask. So this is going to mask or cover up the color that I already have down. I'm going to do a little bit of a background. Just a halo of color all the way around. Let me shift that back over. Finish that up. Pull that up and then you can see the yellow and I have my blue background there. Now, to add the details, there are two detail pieces. So there's one that has larger openings and then this one goes down and has smaller openings. I'm going to use the larger one first and go just a little bit darker on the color. Um, I'm going to use Wild Honey here. And I like to pull my darker colors in from the sides. And then kind of just pounce on a little bit. Pull that up and then you're starting to see all those beautiful details of the hive. Now, you can go darker. So I'm going to put the smaller little sections on. And I'm going to go a little darker this time. Again, I'm going to pull it in from the sides. Kind of up from the bottom. And from the sides. Pounce them across. And then again, it just brings out the more deep, more and more details. Um, from the stencils and for your hive. So you could go as dark or as light as you want on your colors. This obviously is just a super messy um, demo on how to do this. Now what's awesome is the stencils coordinate with the hive card dies. So you could cut your little hive card. You could use the stencils directly onto the front of your card. They fit directly on there so you can add your details or you can also use the pieces. There is a little top piece that goes on your card and the little doors. You can also use that to decorate the little top piece. It will fit also. So there are lots of different ways you can either use it, you know, by itself and do a card front or a project or anything like that. Here's another one that I did on a smaller sheet of paper. See the color is a lot lighter here. Or you can uh, use the coordinating hive card dies. So lots of different options and possibilities. I hope this has answered your questions. If you have any more questions on the Hive card dies or the stencils, leave a question in the description box below and I will try to help you out if I can. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.